David's deep lamenting brought him to write these psalms to be sung as tools for others to learn from and to glorify God. So his deepest, darkest, private sin, he made public to become a teaching tool to honor God. That's a, and his lamenting brought him there. It made him clean before God. David learned to rejoice in God's judgment and mercy and then be able to share that freedom with others. His experience showed him how to have compassion for and connect with others in their own overwhelming trials. And Jonathan, there we, we need to try as best as we can to learn to learn from this kind of an experience. You know, I remember, I don't remember the podcast. It was years and years and years ago, but we featured a story of a Christian man who was driving one evening with his wife and child, uh, and they got uh, T-boned by, uh, by another car, and it was a dr drunk driver, hit on the, the, the passenger side, and his wife and child were killed instantly. And he tells his story. It was a drunk driver, and it was a young man. He tells a story that he gets out of the car and he sees his dead wife and his dead child. And he said, and I suddenly heard this wailing and I realized it was me. I'm kneeling in the road with my hand, hands up and I am just wailing in my anguish at what had just happened. It was so unsought for. It was undeserved. And you look at all of this and, and he had that, that tremendous, tremendous, tremendous anguish. Several years later, this same man, he was a Christian man, befriended the young man who was the drunk driver and worked with him. And together, they would go and they would tell their story to teach others, to teach young people about the dangers of being irresponsible and drinking and driving and all of that. And this young man was able to trust in him because he took his anguish he put it before God, and what came from it was, 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 was a building up experience for so many. That's the kind of lesson we're looking at here. Wow, Rick, um, that's being vulnerable. Yeah. And just like David was being vulnerable, willing to share to help others. And that's exactly what this Christian man did. And the person that, that was drinking that shouldn't have been, but was willing to admit it and try to prevent people from doing that. That's amazing.